how do you convince a president uh, who has said at one point that he thought climate change was a hoax generated by the Chinese? Well, I'm not sure we do. <laughs> and we may not. But this is a good plan, both from a policy standpoint and from a political standpoint. It is a problem, right now at least. And uh, Republicans have not been at the table because we've been basically uh, skeptics or deniers. Now, when you have uh, companies like uh, BP and uh, Exxon and uh, Total and Shell all saying we ought to have a carbon tax of some sort, I think we ought to, we ought to uh, listen to that. And when you see what's happening to the environment, even though it may be consistent with what's happened 10,000 years ago or 1,000 years ago, it's a risk that we, don't have, we shouldn't have to take. So here is a conservative, free market, limited government, uh, competitive uh, in terms of America's competitive. It's an America first solution. Based on your experience, as I noted, the only person to serve as Secretary of State, Secretary of Treasury, and White House Chief of Staff. Uh, the big conversation in this town and around the world is the first two plus weeks of the Trump administration. Let me just start with a general question. Uh, how do you think they're doing out of the box? Well, I think they're doing well on some things and not so well on others. Uh, the, the big tra the travel ban, which has uh, caused a lot of confusion and comment and so forth, uh, was really not rolled out with the preparation that I think they uh, should have given it, and we're seeing the results of that now. Uh, running the government's a lot different than uh, running a, a corporation or a business where the CEO can give the order and it gets implemented. That doesn't necessarily happen in this town, you know that very well. On the other hand, they've done a really good job on some things. Uh, the Supreme Court announcement, uh, I, th I think, was an extraordinarily w a good pick. Uh, I hope and believe that he will be confirmed. The rollout on that was, was absolutely perfect. Uh, on the travel ban, the process matters. Process really make, can, can make a difference, uh, in, particularly in this town and how you roll, how you present stuff to the of the public. When you see this president's early steps on the world stage, what do you think? And let me start with this one. When Bill O'Reilly said across the seats like this from the president the other day about Vladimir Putin, he's a killer, would you have given the same answer well, me, President let, Trump gave? I'm not going to answer that question yet. I will in a minute. Let me say about pragmatism. I think this president is a pragmatist. He's a successful businessman, and I think he wants to succeed. Is there a moral equivalency between the United States no, and Vladimir no, no, Putin's no, Russia? No, 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 no. I would, no I, there is no moral equivalency. No, absolutely not. We have a free press. We have, uh, we have a, a solidly functioning democracy. We have respect for human rights and things like that. Having said all that, it's damn important that we find a way to uh, have the best possible relationship we can with Russia it may not be a very, may not be a good one, but we need to have the best possible relationship we can. 